Now the question is, a person bought three different companies' shares, one costing five rupees each, other costing two hundred rupees each, and third costing three hundred rupees each. Let's say he bought X shares of this, Y shares of Z. Z. Number of shares X plus Y plus Z total hundred. And amount is total ten thousand five x plus two hundred y, two hundred y plus three hundred z total ten thousand. Question is going to be a little bit lengthy. It's more of a puzzle from old, very tough paper. X shares of this, y of this, z of this. X plus y plus z number is given hundred. Amount five x plus two hundred y plus three hundred z. This is ten thousand. Now, what all we know is two equations and three variables we cannot solve. We need to go for some smart work. Now, what all is smart work? We need to use it. Otherwise, we'll never be able to solve it. Two hundred into anything is always going to be a multiple of hundred. Obviously, four hundred into three six hundred. So this is going to be a multiple of hundred. Three hundred into anything is also going to be a multiple of hundred. We need amount ten thousand means multiple of hundred. Multiple of hundred, multiple of hundred. Summation is multiple of hundred. If this amount comes something like fifty or something, this will never end with zero zero. So number of shares of five rupees. Has to be something which is going to give us hundred rupees. Five into what gives us hundred is twenty. So number of shares of five rupees has to be multiple of twenty. Otherwise, it will never end in hundred. So number of shares of five rupees has to be multiple of twenty. Why it has to be multiple of twenty? Otherwise, we will not get amount ending with zero. We need. So five rupee shares are either going to be twenty or forty or sixty or eighty or hundred. First things first, we need summation ten thousand ending with zero zero. This amount three hundred into anything is multiple of hundred. Two hundred into anything is multiple of hundred. So this amount should also be multiple of hundred. So it has to be multiple of twenty. Now we are going for trial and error, five trial errors, and then we'll use the allegation logic. We need five x plus two hundred y plus three hundred z total amount ten thousand. Now if we take these shares are twenty, we will get hundred rupees. Total shares are hundred. So if total shares are hundred, twenty shares gone, remaining eighty shares for these two companies. Now, even if I take all shares, eighty shares of two hundred rupees, amount will be sixteen thousand. And if out of that sum are of three hundred, amount will be more than sixteen thousand. We need amount just ten thousand. So, five rupee shares it cannot be twenty. If we take twenty, remaining are going to be eighty. And even if I take all the two hundred wallas, eighty shares also, then also it will be minimum sixteen thousand. So it cannot be twenty. Let's try forty. Let's try forty. We are taking forty shares of two hundred rupees. Sorry, five rupees each. Now, if we take five rupees wala forty shares, amount will become two hundred. Remaining two companies, we will get sixty shares. Now, even if I take all sixty shares. Of two hundred rupees each, two hundred into sixty, two hundred into sixty comes out to be twelve thousand. Then also amount is going to cross this thing, so it cannot be twenty shares. It cannot be forty shares. Let's say we try sixty shares. Five x plus two hundred y plus three hundred z amount should be ten thousand. Now. If we try 60 shares of this, amount will become 300. Out of total 100, 60 shares we have already taken, so remaining 40. 40 are combined these. Now remaining amount is 9,700. 300 already for these shares remaining. Now out of that, 
if we take all 40 of 200 we will get 8000 more than that and if we take all 300 wala 40 we will get 12000 in between that it can work out it can work out means it has to be 60 shares of this if we get 60 shares of this 300 rupees remaining 40 shares all 200 walas will give us 8000 rupees all 300 walas will give us 12000 rupees so let's say 200 walas y shares remaining 40 minus y shares of 300 amount is 9700 2y plus 120 minus 3y 97 so y we get 23 shares of this 23 shares of this and 17 shares of this 23 shares of this we have got the answer but why not others check it is going to be lengthier but please give 100 percent if we take 200 by 300 said first thing we have already decided this has to be multiple of 20 if we take 80 shares remaining combined are just 20 shares even if i take all 20 shares of 300 it will be 6000 6000 sorry 6000 even if we take all these 6000 shares sorry 40 shares if we have taken 80 shares of 5 rupees we have got 400 even if i take all remaining 20 shares of 300 amount goes 6000 now till then also we cannot get 10000 and obviously we cannot take all the shares of 100 shares of 5 rupees so what all was there what we tried was and how it worked out we need x shares of 5 rupees y shares of 200 rupees z shares of 300 number of shares should be 100 amount should be 10,000 first logic we worked out multiple of 100 multiple of 100 this should also be multiple of 100 so 20, 40, 60, 80 or 100 now if we take 20 shares of 5 rupees we get 100 rupees here remaining 80 shares even if we get 200 walas we will get minimum 16,000 it will cross the limit if we take 40 shares of 5 rupees we will get 200 rupees remaining 60 shares even if I take all of 200 we will get minimum 12,000 rupees it will cross so now if we take 5 rupees wala x shares if we take 60 we get 300 rupees here remaining 40 shares combined 40 shares of 200 and 300 amount remaining 9700 y shares of 200 rupees remaining 40 minus y of 300 rupees amount remaining it's working fine all 40 8000 less than that all 40 300 12000 in between that so 23 shares of this 17 of this we just tried 80 and 100 would not have worked now how we do with allegation we need 5x plus 200y allegation concept we are using smart work is there x has to be multiple of 20 that's what we already know multiple of 20 now allegation can be used only for two things in total 10,000 rupees we need 100 shares so 100 rupees is the average cost per share average cost per share is 100 rupees now hint is given by 5 rupees wala shares 5 rupees wala shares gives us hint now this is just a guesswork smart work use of allegation that's what we are doing now 200 wala shares plus 300 wala shares average cost is between 200 and 300 is going to be between 200 and 300 allegation can be used only for two things 5 rupees wala shares mix with 200 and 300 if they are equal is going to be 250 but it's going to be minimum 200 is just guesswork we are doing average cost of these two combined average cost of 200 and 300 average cost is minimum 200 maximum 300 but combined total we got 10,000 rupees 100 shares so average of all the combined is 100 
फाइव रुपीज वाला शेयर मिक्स विद टू हंड्रेड एंड थ्री हंड्रेड वाला देर एवरेज इज मिनिमम टू हंड्रेड एवरेज कॉस्ट इज हंड्रेड हाउ वी गेट रेशियो ऑफ क्वांटिटीज टू हंड्रेड माइनस हंड्रेड हंड्रेड प्लस समथिंग हंड्रेड माइनस फाइव दिस इज नाइनटी फाइव सो वॉट ऑल वी गेट यूर इज दिस इज हंड्रेड प्लस एंड दिस इज नाइनटी फाइव वी डोंट नो दिस कैन बी एनी थिंग टू ट्वेंटी टू फिफ्टी टू एटी बट इट्स मिनिमम टू हंड्रेड एंड इफ दिस नंबर इज इक्वल इज गोइ टू बी टू फिफ्टी बट वी डोंट नो वॉट इज इट राइट नाउ सो नाउ दिस इज गोइ बी हंड्रेड प्लस समथिंग नाइंटी फाइव एस टू नाइंटी फाइव इज वन एस टू वन मीन्स दिस इज वेरी क्लोज टू वन एस टू वन क्लोज टू वन एस टू वन इफ फाइव रुपीज वाला इफ वी टेक वन टू हंड्रेड एंड थ्री हंड्रेड कंबाइन वन बट दिस इज वन प्लस समथिंग दिस इज अप्रॉक्सिमेट इट्स नॉट एक्चुअल वे आर यूजिंग द फाइन हाई यूज ऑफ एलिगेशन यू वॉट वी गॉट इज टोटल शेयर्स आर हंड्रेड वी नो टोटल शेयर्स आर हंड्रेड फाइव रुपीज वाला शेयर्स एंड कंबाइंड ऑफ टू हंड्रेड एंड थ्री हंड्रेड we got if this is 100 plus something this is 95 we got roughly 1 is to 1 means out of total 100 nearly half are of 5 rupees wala shares nearly half but is slightly more than half i repeat if average combined average of 200 and 300 if we take 95 shares of this we should take more than 100 of 5 Roughly one is to one. Means nearly out of this half, half of that is fifty. Total hundred ka half. But more than half, more than half are five rupees wala shares. More than half are five rupees wala shares. So more than half, more than fifty. Multiple of twenty, multiple of twenty, which is multiple of twenty, which is. More than half, what we get is sixty. So using allegation, quickly what we could have got was, quickly what we could have got was, number of shares of five rupees should be multiple of twenty, which it should be sixty. How we got this five rupees wala shares mixed with two hundred and three hundred wala shares, average cost is hundred. So this is hundred plus something ninety five, roughly one is to one. This is. But nearly half or more than half, total hundred shares are there. Half of that is fifty, so more than fifty, close to fifty, but multiple of twenty. So what we get sixty shares, and we have already done. So allegation could have speedily made the calculations. Five rupees wala x shares, two hundred wala y, three hundred wala z. Total amount. If we take sixty here, three hundred. Remaining are forty, two hundred wala y plus three hundred wala forty minus y. Remaining amount three hundred gone out of ten thousand ninety seven hundred. Two y divided by hundred plus three into forty. So what do we get? One twenty minus three y. It's one twenty. We have divided by hundred. Everything we have divided by hundred equal to ninety seven y. 23 shares of this and 17 shares of this. 5 rupees wala x, 200 wala y. This total amount. 60 shares of this. So remaining 40 shares. This total amount. 23 shares of this and 17 shares of 